<coughs> Chief Eppel. <laughs> Baka. Any wows or Nkembo in Eziama. You're welcome once again. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, you know that when you see eggs in a basket, it is difficult to detect which is female or male. You are correct. Um, I simply want to ask you, is your son, Ebuka, interested in Adora? <laughs> Chief Ubaka, I don't know why you are asking me this question. But to satisfy your curiosity, I wouldn't be surprised if my son is interested in marrying the princess. Because both of them have come a long way. And if he's interested, I will encourage him. You will not do that. Excuse me? I mean, you will discourage your son, Ebuka. Because my son, Obidike, is interested in marrying the princess. Chief Obaka, you don't seem to understand what I told you. I mean, the princess Adora and my son have been acquainted from childhood. And I remember that my son used to take her home from school when they were young. So if he's interested in marrying her, I would simply encourage him. Ubaka, Chief Epele. <laughs> we have come a long way, and I don't want us to have issues. I truly don't want us to have issues. There's no cause to have issues with me, because I'm not the one proposing to the princess. Neither am I Adora, who is to choose who to marry. So why are you going to have issues with me? No reasons at all. I want you to discourage your son, Ebuka, from his ambition to marry the princess. Tell him to look elsewhere for a wife. Princess Adora is taken. <laughs> Chief Obaka, you seem to be mixing things up. If I remember correctly, a couple of days ago, we were with Her Majesty and she informed us that Adora is not ready to discuss marriage until after her youth service. And even if it were not so, I will not discourage my son Ebuka from wooing the princess. Encourage Obidike to do the same. And let Adora make her choice. I think my time is up here. I'll see you. Epele. I mean it when I told you to discourage your son from further step towards the princess. You don't want him to get hurt, <laughs> do you? Jivubaka, we shall see. My father. 